Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy and this episode of Sovereign Citizen Shorts, where we take a look at social media postings of sovereign citizens and other interesting stuff that pops up on the internet, piques our curiosity, gets us interested, and makes us laugh. Let's begin with the first sovereign citizen short. This here is a posting from Facebook by what appears to be a sovereign citizen. Uh, we've scratched out the name and protected the identity. Uh, the post says, I was harassed by the police today for no license plates. I made them let me go. I was denied a police report. So was my sister wrote a notice of liability. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number one, you weren't being harassed because you had no license plates. You were being investigated because you were breaking the law. Number two, I am almost positive that you did not make them let you go. They decided to let you go for whatever reason. Maybe they didn't want to deal with it. Maybe you were close to home. We don't know. You don't tell us in this short little posting. Uh, denied a police report? What? Do you want a police report right there on the spot? I'm sorry, uh, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes you get a citation. Sometimes you won't get a police report until later on in the mail. And oh, to top it off and let us know that you truly are a sovereign citizen, you wrote a notice of liability, which is a bad idea because if you send that to the police, they're more likely to send you the police report and indict you on a crime. Friends and family, the nonsense never ends. Let's take a look at our next Sovereign Citizen Short. But before we do that, thank you for joining the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sign up for my email list. You'll get a free, a free uh, PDF, the history and examination of the Sovereign Citizen Movement. Those are free ways to support this free show. Subscribe, sign up for the email list. Before we get to the next one, many of you come here for another reason. You come for the same time sip. So raise your cup, your glass in the air. Oh, I have a new format. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, raise your cup, your glass in the air. We take a drink here of coffee or my favorite, Diet Coke or Coke Zero, because it tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Okay, let's take a look at this next Sovereign Citizen short. You can see I have some new technology here, everyone. Um, make this a little bit bigger for you. This was also posted on Facebook, and it's in reference to a trail that was closed due to COVID-19, it appears. At the top, it says, trail is starting to open back up. We'll be out at Lake Morena this Sunday, 524, with food and drink for any hikers on the trail. Well, go down. Uh, you see one post. Feel free to post in still angeling PCT 2020. Welcome to post away. And then the bottom post, which is the, the focus of our attention. The trail itself was never closed and legally cannot be closed as it's recognized by Congress as a highway for pedestrian migration. The permit system is in direct conflict with the 14th Amendment and the freedom of movement. It's more appropriate to say that the trail is being supported again. The trail itself was never closed. Hiking should not require angel community support. We should all just appreciate their support and magic. It is all a gift. H-Y-O-H and have fun out there. Many businesses along the trail will be grateful that people are still on trail. So many trails, along with many other woodland areas in the United States, are either state park or uh, federal parks. Um, or are run by, say, the local county or the local government. It's generally taxpayer dollars that are going to maintain a trail like that. Yes, the government can shut those trails down, whether it's by the 14th Amendment or uh, or not. Uh, excuse me. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry about that. So, I don't know uh, exactly, you know, all the laws around trails, trail closures. But I do know that if they have a compelling reason and it has to do with safety and COVID-19 has to do with safety, safety, the government is going to be able to shut down your access to the trail. Sorry, sorry, sovereign citizen. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed your post, but you're wrong. And uh, we got one more. Whoops, whoops. Okay. One more here. Uh, 
This is interesting post. Um, somebody doesn't want their temperature taken to go into the Apple store. And this was put posted on uh, Am I Being Detained, which is a Reddit thread. I highly recommend. It's a great thread. This is what the poster said. Taking someone's temperature violates their Fourth Amendment right against illegal search and seizure. Because they are scanning all customers, the threshold of probable cause isn't being met and the doctrine of innocent until proven guilty is being violated. To be 100% clear, they have no legal support to make this action a requirement to enter their store. Going down and making a scene when someone tries to violate your rights is going to make this an unpleasant and untenable position for Apple to have. Well, I, I have I have a little bit of news for you here, Sovereign Citizen, is that Apple is a private company. They're a private company. The Fourth Amendment right against illegal and search and seizure does not apply to private individuals or private organizations. So your, your objection there is completely wrong. Your legal basis for it is also completely wrong. Now, there may be another analysis that could happen as far as an Apple store is concerned uh, when it comes to privacy and or discrimination, because there are laws that businesses have to follow. The Fourth Amendment right against illegal search and seizure is not one of them. Even if this was a government building, okay, governments are allowed to put reasonable measures on people entering the buildings. That's why you walk through a metal detector when you go into the courthouse. It's legal. It is not a violation of the Fourth Amendment. It is not an illegal search and seizure. Woo! Dealing with these people is exhausting, everyone. But thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. I'm testing out um, some new technology here. I'm using StreamYard, as recommended by Chuck on Chuck Chases the Facts. He has a great channel. Check out his channel. Uh, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video and laughed at it as much as I did. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sign up for my email list. You get a free PDF history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Thank you for watching the Common Sense Academy.